a random flea market on the beach. I don't know where this flea market has popped up and came came out of. We we're out garage selling uh, and this is what we found. So I'll keep you guys updated if we find anything important. I don't know if this is every week or if this is just this weekend, but I will let you know. Josh and his natural habitat, the clothes rack. So Josh, what are your first thoughts or opinions of this new market? Or do you have none? Apparently Josh has no opinions. There's a few a few vendors I think I recognize here from Wagon Wheel. But uh yeah, this is this was just a really weird experience. I think we're just gonna get out of here. There's nothing here that we need. What the hell? So what did you just pick up? He just got some Florida moder moder Florida lottery mugs back there at that beach garage sale. We are on the beach. This is probably the only sale that we're going to hit on the sale. You know, you probably wish you could have. But anyways, I will see you guys at our next stop. Oh, you also got some Disney things. I'll show you guys later in the recap. My eyes must be playing tricks on me, guys. I'm in the Keys right now. That says Kmart. Kmart does not exist. Just stopped. I am in Key Largo. I'm in the middle of the Keys, oceans as far as the eye can see, and there's a Salvation Army. He says there's two other Salvation Armies farther down towards, towards Key West. So apparently I'm game hunting in the Florida Keys. Look at that. Oh. Look at all the water, guys. That looks so cool. So I'm in the Keys pawn shopping. Um, there's a, a nice little lady mannequin out front. And you guys are not gonna believe this, but I just picked up a bunch of stuff. Hold on a second. So I just picked up Knights of the Old Republic, uh, Shella Monks, this one's like $20. Serious Sam is a decent one. We've got Def Jam Icon, this one's like $25.30. Left for Dead, there's a $15 all day. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. This one's like, this trades in for $10 to GameStop. Most Wanted, the original Most Wanted. And last but not least, we have the Collector's Edition, Limited Edition of Halo 4. I got everything for $30, like 3 to $4 a piece. Um, amazing deals. I'll see you guys at the next stop in the Keys. Woo! There's one more shot of her holding the flag. Woo-hoo! So greetings everybody, greetings, greetings, greetings. I'm out game hunting and um, I'm at a store right now. Take a guess what store I'm at. I am at Kmart. There is a Kmart in the Keys. Are you kidding me? Yeah, look at that. There's a Kmart here. Look at that guys, freaking. In the Keys, Kmart. Look at that. Southernmost point, 90 miles to Cuba. Hey, look, there's a plane. And over there is Cuba somewhere. I don't know where. So, yes, we are back on a grind. Back on a grind. Uh, we were in the Miami, Fort Lauderdale area um, yesterday. We did uh, the Keys. And today, we are going to go hit up some more s some stuff, some sales, some pawn shops. So this ought to be exciting. I'm going to make this all into one long, giant video for garage sales. So I'll see you at the pawn shops. Whoa. Uh, just stopped. I made a little drop off. And I picked up. Mario Sonic at the London Olympic Games. I got Luigi's Mansion, player's choice on the GameCube. I got, this isn't uh, for the Wii U actually. The game inside is Red Mario on the Wii. And last 
but not least, I picked up an NES console from, of all people, a subscriber of mine uh, that happens to live down here in the Miami area. So thanks to you for the awesome deal. And I'm on my way to the next pawn shop. Woo. I just stopped at a value pawn. Not that, that's AMF, but back the other way. Value pawn, I got two games for five each. We got Super Mario Maker on the Wii U. That's a solid $15, $20. And this other one isn't the right game in here. It says it Mario Kart. Miami, Whoa. It says Mario Kart on the outside, but on the inside, it is <laughs> Cat Mario. Woo! -hoo. But, uh. But anyway, as you can tell, I'm in Miami by the radio. But yeah, Cat Mario and then Mario Maker, 10 bucks, five each. Woo! Just stopped at my next pawn shop. It was, I forgot what the name of the place was called. But uh, they were selling Anthem on the Xbox One for $12.99. I just bought a bunch of those sealed from GameStop for like three to five dollars. So I asked him, I'm like, hey, do you guys buy games too? Cause I got a copy of Anthem to sell. What would you pay for it? Cause they were asking $12.99 in their copy. And he's like, oh, probably a dollar. We don't really sell them, they just sit. And I'm like, well, no wonder you're charging $12.99 for a game that you could get from GameStop brand new for less than that. So, yeah, that happened. Just stopped at a second or third or fourth, I don't know how many I've been to already. Just stopped at a pawn shop. They had not a whole lot of stuff, it was kind of high. Um, now we're gonna go into Thrift City. If I find anything, I'll keep you guys updated. We are in Miami, woo! So we went in the thrift, I went in the thrift store and they didn't have anything. They had some games in the back. Um, no Mario's, no Zelda's, no nothing good. Just filler stuff. There's a couple copies of Epic Mickey on the Wii. But GameStop had those for 99 cents and they were 90% off. So I paid 10 cents for my copies. I'm not paying $5.99 for one of theirs. Just stopped at a pawn shop right over there. Um, there's a ton of pawn shops on this one long stretch of road. So we got, I got lucky in that aspect, but uh, they didn't have, they had Garden Warfare 2 in there for $5. I, normally I'd have bought that for five bucks, but I have, in the back seat, you can't see here, but I brought all the GameStop stock to sell at the swap shop. And I got so much 360, PS4, Xbox One stuff, that I'm trying to reserve what little money I had that I brought with me for, for pawn shopping for like rare rare good stuff or like Mario, Zelda, stuff like that. So Garden Warfare wasn't high on my list. But anyway, on to the next stop. So we, I just stopped at a pawn shop and the post office had some eBay stuff to mail out. Pawn shop didn't have anything and I was kind of concerned because all their prices seemed kind of high. They said they had a Mario Odyssey on the Switch and it's funny because they want $45 for Mario Odyssey on the Switch. Pretty sure it's not much more than that at GameStop used. But anyway, I will see you guys at our next stop. Woo! I just picked up a copy of New Super Mario Brothers on the Wii and a pawn shop back there. It's a little scratched, but I should be able to buff it out and fix it. I paid $3 for this. So that's a good find. Uh, there's two more than the Cash American Value Pawn, and then that'll be it for the day. I'll see you guys at that next stop. So I go in that Cash America, which first off, she took down my number and information and everything. She said whenever she gets something, she'll call me. But this is like a three and a half, four hour drive. I'm not coming down here just to pick up a couple games. Um, but they had what I thought was a Nintendo Entertainment System, or the NES Classic, sitting on the thing. They're charging $79.99. I'm like, oh, what comes with that Nintendo Entertainment System? You know, the, the Mini. And she goes in the back, she grabs the cords out. And I'm like, do you mind if I look at the system real fast? And they had it for $80. And I look, and it doesn't say Nintendo. It just says Entertainment System. They were the Mama K Chinese 699 knockoffs from Wish or Amazon, wherever. And they had one in there, and they didn't realize it wasn't a real one. And they were trying to get $80 for it. I informed her that it was a knockoff. So, anyway. I just thought that was funny and I'd share that story with you because it's always fun when I when I see something like that and I'm able to explain to them, you know, hey, knock off. Just stopped at a very familiar place, Value Pond. I picked up some cool stuff here. 
Um, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this, but that Cash America that I was just at a second ago was the Cash America where I got my uh, Tommy Hilfiger Game Boy Color for $30 a long time ago because uh, they thought there was a sticker on it that said Tom Tommy Hilfiger. The price said $130 is what they were selling it for. And I, I walked up to the counter and I'm like, this was like three or four, maybe five years ago. Anyway, I said, uh, why is this so expensive? Obviously, I know it's a Tommy Hilfiger Game Boy. I'm trying to see if I can get the price down. And she's like, she's like, yeah, I don't know why this is so. She looked it up on eBay, wherever. It wasn't going for what they had at price then. She let me have it for $30, you know. But uh, that was kind of cool. And that's where, I, that's where that came from out of my collection. Figure I might as well give you guys a little story there. Anywho, this is it. This is the last stop uh, for the day. I will see you guys next time I go garage selling. I'm out. Woo! Okay.